So what I saw were these two cross edges that were solved already adjacent to each other, just a detail away from being solved. And this cross edge attached where it should go just flipped, and this red edge up here. And you can solve this with an R D prime F R prime D prime. However, I did notice that this blue and red edge would become solved after tracking where it would go, and then I tracked this piece and it would just be on top here. So I managed to make an X cross. So I did R D prime F prime R prime. Kind of hesitated, I could have cancelled into just putting the corner in, but I didn't, so I did an R prime, and then did an R again, U R prime, and then a D prime to finish the X cross. I immediately rotated and saw there was probably an opportunity to do some of the Jaden McNeil and Co's F to L, F R U F prime thing, where you solve two diagonal slots and then you solve the back right and front left. So I went into this pair immediately, like so, and then I, this pair is really nice with his technique. You can just do an F and then do some wide moves, so a U prime, wide F, R, and F prime to insert it into the back there. And here is the last case. It's relatively simple and straightforward. It's a bit move heavy, but otherwise it's quite spammable. So R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U prime. And then you can just insert it back because the slot was already out. And then I got lucky with the last layer case. I got a soon. And then I had this U perm. I could have gone into the case with the bar, the whole bar on the front, but I kind of hesitated, went, went this way did the U-perm, and then did a U-2. For my standards, a low 6 to a high 5, ah, high 5, is uh, reasonably good for my personal times. However, if you're faster, you may disagree, of course. Um, I think this solve, however, just exemplifies the possible usage of the whole F, I, U, F prime type thing, or whatever they're calling it now. And just being able to solve diagonal slots in a more efficient manner than having to rotate back and forth in this solve was quite useful. I am still not too sure whether it's a one-size-fits-all approach, and I'll still keep playing with it and let you know of the details later, but yeah, I think that's a good example of where it could have been applied. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit like, get subscribed, all that good stuff. 